Although in this series I tend to show how most friendship problems are rooted in fear or selfishness, I find miscommunication and lack of communication to take a close second in sheer frequency of causing these problems. There are up to 16 other episodes where a lack of proper communication is the root of the problem. But Pony Point of View showed us exactly what it means to examine multiple takes on the same situation and the effects that this skill can have on our friendships. Everyone has biases that play into how we observe or recall people in situations. This was demonstrated pretty thoroughly in the way that Rarity, Pinkie Pie, and Applejack viewed themselves and each other. These biases can be harmful when people refuse to believe anything else. But they can also help us understand different perspectives. Likewise, you may have noticed that some points from each story were entirely credible, while others were downright ridiculous. Deciphering these biases to separate the credible and incredible information was the route that Twilight took in trying to figure out exactly what happened on the boat. And the method would have been similar to what Rarity did during Rarity Investigates had it not been for the more subjective nature of the incident. Without knowledge of the Trihorn Bunyip, solving the problem would have been nearly impossible when this much subjectivity is at play. But of course, Twilight wouldn't have had to moderate anything if the others had even tried to talk to each other about what had happened. This is why bias and pride can be so harmful. Everyone on the boat trip believed themselves to be reasonable in their desires while the other two were obnoxiously imposing themselves onto the plan. So much so that when their goals inevitably conflicted with each other, all they could do was try to maintain control of the situation. This, of course, caused the situation to spiral even further out of control, leading everyone to blame each other, even though they all shared equal fault. All of this without even trying to find out what was really going on. They simply let it tear them apart. This type of thing happens far too often. Even if it's not the case in most episodes, it's certainly the case in most situations that I've observed personally and it's never worth it. If any of them had tried to talk to each other beforehand, they would have seen that each friend was bringing something that they loved to the table as a means of getting their other friends out of their element, something that they all, in fact, had wanted. The same goes for how they could have solved the problem once they washed ashore. Although these miscommunications are often rooted in selfishness, there are plenty of times when we'll offend a friend or be offended by actions that were intended to be helpful, causing us to act out in anger. But if we're so hasty to discard trust and cut ties, we will never know the truth, much less recover from the incident. Never make assumptions. Have patience and faith in those around you so that you can clear up any misunderstandings which will eventually come in between. Even if someone's perspective on a matter is wrong, that doesn't mean that there isn't value in understanding how they've come to that conclusion, as it is exactly why and how that person makes decisions when playing their role in a situation. The same goes equally for yourself, as Rarity, Applejack, and Pinkie Pie were all guilty of embellishing the folly of others while making themselves seem innocent, you are capable and likely guilty of doing the same thing. So don't forget to ask where you went wrong as well, and carefully heed whatever answer you may get. Earlier I stated that without knowledge of the Trihorn Bunyip, this problem would have been nearly impossible to solve. This, of course, is barring the simplest of solutions. Forgiveness. These things happen. It's part of life. Sometimes someone is directly at fault. Sometimes you're the victim of an uncontrollable circumstance. But if you habitually cut ties over misunderstandings, then you will quickly find yourself with no friends or family at all. Twilight made Rarity, Pinkie Pie, and Applejack realize that friendship is worth more than being free of blame, and that without communication, we will likely make mountains of molehills and ruin friendships over nothing. It was then that they were able to understand each other's intentions and gain a higher appreciation for the efforts of those around them. If we all demonstrate the same kind of patience and understanding, then maybe we can do the same. And that's the moral of the story.
If you have a topic you would like to hear discussed, you can drop your suggestions by following Brawny Buck on Tumblr or sending an email to bronydebates at gmail.com. Feel free to check out my Patreon to see how you can support my channel and what you'll get in return. This video was sponsored by Irish John's Short Films and Animations as well as all of my other generous supporters. Have a great day, and I look forward to hearing from all of you soon.